Humble Bubble Granny Trouble by Tracy Corduroy. My granny is kind of different. She wears black pony hats, and everywhere she goes, she takes her cats and frogs and bats. Even to the movies, which she thinks is fine, especially as Granny never had to wait in line. My granny is kind of different. She makes this gloppy soup from icky slime, sludge, sprinkles, and bits of froggy poop. I ask for chicken fingers, but Granny shakes her head. Oh, yuck! she cries. How horrible! Here, have some soup instead. My granny is kind of different. Her friends are different too. Why can't they do the sort of things that other grannies do? They like to make things disappear. My friends all think it's cool. But one day, this just went too far when granny had that school. My granny is kind of different. She drives a crazy car that's got no roof or seats or wheels. It's really just bizarre. While others sit in traffic, she makes that car thing fly. Hey, granny, please slow down, I shout as we go zooming by. My granny is kind of different. So one day, gran, I said, how about we try to make you normalish instead? Normalish? asked granny. Sure, I could try that, honey. And so we sat and needed hats, though Grand was kind of funny. Later on, we cut the bus and rode it into town. See, I said, no zooming, no flying upside down. We went inside the pet shop to choose a normal pet. No fangs, no warts, not green or black, as cute as you could get. Then Granny got her hair done, all normal-ish and neat, combed and curled and nicely twirled. I thought she looked quite sweet. Though Rad looked nice and normal now, something wasn't right. She seemed like someone else's grand as we strolled home that night. I went to see her the next day, but she was still in bed. Oh, Gran, I cry. What's wrong with you? I'm kind of bored, she said. We went down to the kitchen and I made some gloopy soup. I stirred in lots of lime and added extra froggy poop. I looked across the table. I'm sorry, Gran, I said. You were fun and different, but now you're sad instead.